Hello everyone and welcome to part two of Easter Eggs and Flowers. And for those of you who are just joining in or who just clicked on this video, please understand that this video is in two parts. So you may want to look at Easter Eggs and Flowers part two before you even bother to look at this one here. However, we're just going to get started. As you can see, I left everything except for the, I placed this over the top. This is where we left off. We painted our flowers, our stem, our background, and our butterflies, and now we're just going to go on and start blocking in the rest of our painting, and we're going to go back in and add more details and coloration to these elements. But before we do that, we're going to peel off this egg. So here we're going to get our spatula, grab our end, dig it anywhere under. We're going to peel up. And for this, you want to be very careful not to peel up the other eggs. So just very slowly. There you go. And we're going we're gonna to start by painting in this Easter egg here. Now, as you can see, the bottom of our canvases are white. If you would have brought your color all the way down to the bottom, you would have had a visual. And I should have done that for you. But it's okay. Either way, we're going to still be able to accomplish our mission. We're going to paint this egg purple. At least I am. You choose the color that you want your eggs to be. I'm just going to go with the colors that are already here. For example, this one will be pink. This one will be orange. This one will be purple to kind of correspond to the colors that I already have. So I'm just going to grab some color here. And before I get started, I'm just going to fake in a bottom. I'm going to say that... This will be the bottom of my Easter egg right there. This is why I said it doesn't really matter because you still you still have a, a degree of understanding as to where your eggs are. So all you have to do is use your artistic license and just add. So now I'm just going to put that in there and I'm just going to put some white and push this color around. Like I always say, push the color around, have some fun and be creative. We're going to paint in this purple egg very lightly as we've done with all of our paintings so far where we've done it in stages I just want to add a little light purple first and then I'm going to come in and decorate this egg after we run up to the top and decorate some of the other parts so I just want to get this point across right now I'm just painting in a light purple background. I'm going to keep my decorations very simple. You, on the other hand, can be as ornate as you want to be in your decorations. I would suggest you take your time as if you're making actual Easter eggs and come up with designs that are very comfortable for you, but challenging too. So it can be fun. Like I said, mine are going to be very basic. Okay, here's my egg. It's in there. I'm going to leave that for a few moments. I'm going to come back up here and decorate a little bit more up top. So all of this is dry, but I'm going to take some straight purple, go into my flower, and maybe make a little bit of a darker pocket right up in here. Maybe come down along the edge just a little bit, then come back and add a little bit of darkness. See how that darkness and it's just the purple the same purple we used in the beginning the only difference is because this is dry and we've already added some layers by adding color on top you get to glaze so i'm just going to glaze the edge of this one add a little color here come along the base softly blend this in a little bit See, and just by adding that other value on top of values that already exist, you create an even darker look. So maybe there's a little bit of a darker color right there. Maybe I'll skip all the rest and come right here. Add a little dark line right there. Maybe add a little bit of a dark line in the back, back here. And that just gives... Like a kind of an in and out look. It's nothing spectacular. But again, you're, you're, you're playing with values. You're playing with tones. That's all you're really doing. 
let's just go ahead and add some more purple to the body of our butterfly so we can make him nice and dark. Remember before we left in part one, we added an extra one. Now we're going to add the tentacles, which is just simply a dot, a little bit of a dot and a line. Let's do it again. A little bit of a dot and a line. Now we have our tentacles or eyes. And just, just going to put some legs. Just a few. Look, maybe there's one that goes like that. Maybe there's another one that extends from the back like that. You know, maybe there's two in the back back here. Maybe there's another one that's a little bit in the front of that. Most bugs have like six legs, so we're just going to make a fake of one right there and maybe another one right there. And there is our butterfly's legs. And now we're going to decorate a little bit more on the butterfly itself by going into some orange. Starting in the back, right along that top tip. Enrich that orange a little bit. See how it just pops it out? Maybe enrich these dots or these dashes near the top. Let's leave the other ones alone. And then let's go to the front wing and enrich a little bit of a dark line right along the tip. Again, we're just playing with values. We're just playing with, with tones. And maybe there's another one in the back. Let's go to this one. Let's make this one nice and dark. Just to separate our, our butterfly wings. There. Now, for this flower right here, I could go in with just pink. But I think I'm going to take a little pink, take a touch of purple, mix those two together, get it mostly pink. Yeah, like that. But with a little touch of purple to it. Now I'm going to come back and go back to these shapes so that the value picks up slightly differently than when we first had it. A little bit more purple to that. Just mix it a little purple and a little pink. And I'm just going to make a few little lines and some colors that kind of stretch around my flower just to give a different value on some of them. So you see how now that value change gives the petals a little bit of a different look. So that's all I'm really after right now. It's just putting in some value changes. Just to give the picture a little bit more what I like to call pop. So you add some lines to themselves. Maybe there's some lines that are like that purple pinkish color coming around over here. Maybe add a little splash of color around the yellow here. And the cool thing about this is purple and yellow complement one another. So by having a little purple into the pink that has this yellow center, it just makes the flower feel and look more comfortable. So that's all we're doing. We're just adding a little complement around it. Let's clean this off. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on this. And we're going to go right into some orange. Just straight orange. And I'm just going to take my brush and maybe right in the middle, I'm going to dot a little center. There. Like that. That's going to be the center. Now I'm going to go right around to the edges. And I'm just going to dot right around the edges of my plant. Just little dots. And maybe take a little white to that. Make me another variation of that orange and maybe tap some of that around. So now there's a little mixture of a dark orange and a light orange just around the tip or the outer edge of my plant. See that? Now I'm going to take and what are we going to do? We're going to grab a touch of purple and go right into the center here. And I'm going to tap me a little purple center. 
just to give another value inside the inside. Inside the inside. <laughs> there. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Maybe a tap a little bit more orange. Right along the edge. There. Now there. There's a nice decorated flower. Flower. And don't forget, remember back here we put a little white. So why don't we take some of this and just make this a little yellowish orange. Right in here. I'm going to add a little value of some yellow and orange right there. Remember that center we did a long time ago? Didn't think we forgot about it. Take some of this orange and just tap in a few little dots for the bees, the pollen. Maybe even go richer and just let it tap, touch some of that right there. There. And that's good enough right there. So now remember we left this down here? Take this brush and work a little faster. For this, I'm just going to go with some purple dots. So maybe right here there's a dot. Just decorating the egg. Maybe there's a dot right there. Maybe there's another purple dot over here. Kind of go half off, half on. It goes around. Maybe right here in the middle, there's a whole dot that you see. So all I'm doing is using the purple against the purple, the light against the dark, to create the illusion that this egg is made up of dots. And because I still have my peel over here, I can paint right on the peel and paint right along both of these edges to give another half dot. And then come back down here and give a whole dot. There you go. And maybe there's a half dot down here at the very, very base. One that goes there. And one that goes there. And there. And now I'm going to be pulling up some grass blades down here. So we're not going to really worry about that part. Just richen this one up a little bit. Just to match the values. And there. Now I've decorated my Easter egg, at least one of them. So why don't we go ahead and peel off the other one. The other two. And get them started. Grabbing my spatula. Now these two eggs are going to make this third egg, or the one we did first in the middle, push back. And remember what I told you about the stem? Watch this. When you peel off this egg, it not only pushes this egg back, but it also pushes that stem back. And let's just grab this one one time. Rest that one behind it. There. And what are we going to do? Make this a nice light pink. Tap a little water. Put a little white. A little white and a little pink. A little white. Some pink. Nice. Now we're just going to take and we're going to paint this egg. But again, I should have did this first. Again, I apologize. So I'm going to come here and you see how the line just swoops. So I'm just going to create the egg shape. Till I feel comfortable that there's my egg shape. There's my egg shape. And now I'm just going to fill it in with this light pink color. Or we can call it dye <laughs> since we're Easter egg creating. Grab some more of this color. Come right along the edge here. Be very careful. Just going to paint this in rather quickly. And then I'm going to jump over to this one and you already know what we're going to do over there but I'm going to tell you anyway because you're way ahead of the game now now you have 
the idea of how to make your Easter egg project look so, so simple. All right, so now we have our pink egg. We're gonna create our orange egg the same way. We're gonna grab a little bit of white, a little bit of orange, and you see how we didn't even use half of the color that I put out. So whatever you do, don't squeeze out a whole tube of color. You could always add more. Save some of that paint for other projects. And I'm gonna put, oh, let me do the bottom part. That's right, I heard you. Come here and create the shape that will be the bottom of this egg curling right around. It's an egg, so you can make the shape the way that you want to. Add a little color in here. Nice light orange. And see, light is relative. It's, it's your value changes. It's your values that you're adding to your, to your painting. This is lighter than the darkest orange, so this is fine for me. This is fine. This works perfect for the, for the purpose of a background for this orange egg. Because you know I'm going to come back with a dark orange or straight orange and just decorate it. There. So now, our painting is near finished. So why don't we just go right in here, jump right into it, and let's decorate these eggs. Now, I'm not going to try to be too fancy, but I'm going to take some straight pink. I'm going to use this flat brush. And I'm just going to say maybe on this egg, there's a little shape that comes down and makes like a kind of a teardrop and then goes back up. So that's going to be the design I have for this egg. And then maybe there's some straight pink. And I'll come along the edge over here and I'll do the same thing. I'll come down so it's about the same place, make a little teardrop, go back up. And then maybe in the center, there are two more. One goes this way and it curls like that. It goes right back up. And then there's another one that comes this way and it curls and it goes right back up. And I'm just, I'm just again, I'm just trying to create a, a design. Now at the bottom, maybe I'll go the opposite way. Maybe I'll make it so that it's fat here, and then I'll pull a little skinny line like that. This is the bottom, and I'll go right here and curl it a little bit. Now you create your own designs on your egg. You can mimic mine if you like. I would be honored. But I think you do better to come up with your own designs. So that this way, at the end of the painting, even if 45 people did it, there'd be 45 variations of eggs. Okay. So now with that, I'm going to leave that for a second. And we'll go to this little skinny brush. And maybe, maybe there's a little bit of a loop the that just kind of like a line that kind of goes in, down, up, down, up. Down, and goes like that. There. And maybe there's one more for the bottom. It just goes like that. This, like this, like this, and like that. Okay, I'm going to come back and finish this one up. For the orange, I'm just going to make a couple of quick bands and maybe some dots right across the middle. So why don't we do that first? Just come here and maybe right here in the center there's a dot. Maybe over here there's a dot. Maybe over here there's a dot. Then maybe just slightly half on, half off. There's a dot. Half on, half off. There's a dot. Just make these a little bit more defined. And then maybe at the at the top here, leave the tip open. Maybe there's a 
a band that runs over here, comes all the way down to about right there, and maybe goes back across. So all of this is going to be a band of orange. Make it nice and fat. And then just paint this in. See that dark against light? Light against dark. And we didn't even fully let this dry, but it's, it's fine. Dry enough. There. And then maybe, maybe there's a band that runs right along the bottom of this egg. And I'm going to leave the bottom just a little exposed like that. So now all of this is the bottom band. See that? That easy. I've decorated my eggs. Now I'm gonna allow it to dry for a couple of seconds. Cause the last thing I'm gonna do is come in and pull up some grass blades. And I don't want these eggs to be wet when I do that. But before I go, why don't I take this little script liner brush and go right into some of this dark pink. And maybe inside each one of these is a little dark pink dot. Just to add more decoration to my egg. Like I said, you can have as much fun with this as you want. So now, on that note, I'm going to stop right here for this part. Let this dry just a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and pull in the bottom parts of my grass and my painting will be finished. So I'll be back in two minutes. It may not seem like it, but I'm going to pause the video, come back for two minutes and finish up this painting. Okay, I know it might not have seemed like it because of automation and technology, but I did take a two minute break to allow my... Um, eggs to dry so that I could come in and show you how to pull in the final part. Now this last part, we've done it already very lightly, but we made some lines for the grass. Now we want it to be darker. I just like to touch my brush, wipe it off, go into some yellow, go into some blue, and I'm going to mix up a nice dark color of green. Then I'm going to show you that I don't want to really cover every inch of my bottoms of my egg, but I want it to look like they're nestled. nestled. So I'm going to start with the eggs and just pull up color like grass blades right along the bottoms. But you see how I'm leaving it open so you can see in between? So you can see the, the eggs themselves. Like they're not like covered completely. And I'm just pulling in some lines. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. Remember, I'm holding the brush straight up and down. And I'm just pulling up some grass blades. But the key is to leave it so that it's slightly exposed. And let me show you how you clean all of that up in a minute. Now, as I come to the edges... I want my grass to go a little higher, so I'm just going to purposely pull back here to kind of hide back here and leave some of the lighter grass. Let's go to the other side. Leave that, pull here, and I want to hide that here like that so that you can see the lighter grass blades, but you can definitely see the darker ones in the front. A little blue. Blue and green, that's all. Now from the bottom, I'm just going to pull up and make a lot of lines right from the bottom. Pull up. And as I'm pulling up, I'm going to take the side of the brush and kind of fake fill in some grass by taking the brush and painting a little bit. But first, I want the stems up. I want the grass blades up. Then I'll come in and do something like this right around the feet of my egg. 
See, like that. So that you have the look of grass blades, but you also have the look that the grass is sitting right underneath the egg. So I'm just kind of going right along the edge of the egg. And add in some dark value. Letting some of the lines show through. I'm going to do it here first so you can see how I'm scrubbing the brush. Right along the base of the egg. So that it looks as though the egg is sitting in grass. This is important for a lot of reasons. One, you don't want the white to show through. And two, you don't want to completely cover your egg. Now at this point, I can just pull in some grass of different values and just have some fun. Because now I have what I needed. So this part is just pulling color, a little yellowish, a little greenish, a little darkish, a little lightish. Remember, the more blue you put, the darker your green will be. And then I still want that look of grass blades, so I'm going to, see? See how I'm coming right in front of what I had you paint, and I'm still putting lines in the front of it? See? Even though we push the brush, I still want to pull color or lines. See, this part is okay. You could just do like this if you want. And then just come back in with some lines. Because that's what you want. You want that full grass look. You want it to look as though the eggs are literally sitting in grass. So I'm going to come back here along the base. I'm going to block this in. This is the last part. This is it. You can go back up, decorate your eggs all you want. You could add some yellow to your stems, some dark to your stems. You could do a lot of different little things to enhance your painting. But for all intent and purpose, our painting is finished. And I thank you so much because this was a challenging piece. But you handled it quite well. It's in two parts so you don't have to sit through the whole thing at one shot. But there you have it. You have your grass blades, you have your eggs, you have the beautiful flowers. So thank you for allowing me to come and paint with you. I hope you had fun. I hope you understood some of the basic principles of what I was trying to show you so that you in turn could add your own little touches to this painting and really bring it to life the way that you want to. I had fun and I hope you did too. Well, until next time, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and go to peeloff.com to see some of our other great, fun, and easy projects. Some of our projects range from the so easy is too easy to a little challenging like this. But again, I hope you had fun. We pushed around a few colors. We got creative. And I know I had a blast. So until next time, happy Easter. Take care of one another. Bye-bye.